Welcome back to the mountaintops of the Giants. So we made a tentative start to exploring the Forbidden Lands last time. We took the Grand Lift of Rold up here, despite being warned by an old finger reader, uh, one of the crones. And confusingly, we found Yura up here, but it is no longer Yura. Um, I don't think I said, but obviously Yura is holding his face because I imagine he's ripped his own eyes out because he is now Shibriri. And we know that that is part and parcel of the followers of Shibriri and the Three Fingers and, and the madness that goes with it. And we know that this is, this might be tied, might be tied tangentially, might be just parallel to Irina's quest or um, Hayata, as I should call her now. I've been messing around with a few weapons. Uh, I was thinking about using the uh, the giant crusher, but I don't know. Just looks a bit ridiculous to walk around. I mean, ha I mean, what percentage of the screen is being covered up by that, right? When we're walking around. Like, I don't know whether I've just seen. I mean, I don't really pay attention to Warhammer 40k. I don't know if I've just seen like promotional images and, and stuff. <laughs> of some of the games that are coming out I would kind of I would really like a metal hammer like a proper like clean hammer like the equivalent of the great mace but in hammer form I don't necessarily think we're gonna get that but you know like like I, I really like the look of this because this really goes with our armor almost it's a bit little bit off color wise but I think that that would look really nice, but we need a lot more faith to use that. Anyway, 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 right, the plan, uh, because we've been speaking to Shabriri here, and there's clearly more stuff for me to find in the sewers, what I'm going to do at the beginning of this video, after I've edited that last batch of videos, and because I had to ed do quite a bit of editing, um, I thought to myself, right, well, there's obviously areas I've not found. There's that elevator, there are a few locked doors and some items in the pipes in the sewers, I need to, and maybe there are some like breakable walls, I'm not sure. So I'm going to go have a look at a few walls that I thought looked suspicious and then I'm going to go through the pipes and I'm going to make extensive use of rainbow stones to mark my path. So that I know where I've explored. Right, we're running out of Ruin fragments. I'm going to spend all of them on rainbow stones because they're my favourite thing. And we should try and find this Tower of East Altus as well, unless this is it. I mean, it could be it, right? It's an isolated divine tower, so maybe. But um, my guess is that this is the East Altus Tower. Okay, now the Dungi, uh, you guys will need to tell me this. Obviously, we've not got anything and the Dung Eater is still alive, so my inkling is that it's either A, we need to actually kill the Dung Eater for these seabed curses to take effect, or we need to get more seabed curses because only one of them was tied to him himself doing anything, like, in, uh, actively, whereas the others we've just found in the world, I think, I think we found two, right? I think we found one in the sewers and we found one at the Volcano Manor. Um, so yeah we're going to go back in the pipes we're going to lay down some stones we're going to check out some walls and this will all be in fast forward if I find absolutely nothing then I will cut the whole bit out but probably be some rushing involved now the, the pipe in particular that I was interested in um was the one that we had to jump down into. There was a kick kickable ladder. I just thought a few of these walls looked suspicious. Obviously they lead back inside though, so that doesn't make sense now that I think about it. This guy is none the wiser. No, sorry mate. I just thought that these walls looked like breakable, but they would just lead back inside, wouldn't they? So that's a stupid idea now that I think about it. Well, that's the first idea is absolute pants. Uh, now. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's through the, through the door that we opened that I want to go, I think. And just quick as... The one thing in particular that I was thinking about... Nope, not that way. This way. Where did the imp go? 
Anyway, I think I want to check that pipe out again. Because I explored it, it was a bit haphazard the way I looked around it. And we knocked the ladder. We did not, the ladder goes all the way down, yeah, yeah. No! Oh, he can climb ladders, can't he? Oh, shit. <laughs> right, these guys can't get down here, right? I'm safe. Now, we're going to have to make intelligent use of these stones, because I think they're going to get buried in all this rubbish. Oh no. So I'm going to have to make patterns so that I know which ways I've gone. Let's just remind ourselves. So all the junctions, I'll leave stones. We need to go get some ruin fragments, small ruin fragments from somewhere. So we've got a new junction here. Now there are lots of scarabs here, right? Which is a bit odd. There was a ghost ox somewhere. We jump scared the life out of me. I don't know what the limit is on these. Right, so we've been to the junction and we've been this way. So I can leave another stone there. Right, this was the... This is kind of a dead end, isn't it? Because we've, we've definitely been there. I mean, what that's... Yeah, so this doesn't lead anywhere new. Although I can hear another scarab. Scarab. Right, now we've been this way as well. So this, this particular end of the pipe is completely explored. Right, so we've been that way. That's covered. We, we, we came from that way. So let's, let's have a look here first. Man, if, this, if there's nothing here, I'm just going to cry. Have a look this way. There's a jump scare around here somewhere, man. Right, the scarabs don't respawn, I don't think. Yeah, I just figured we have to come back just because the should re request is here. You know? Another dead end. We've been that way, we've been that way. We go away. Oh, I'm lost again. We've been that way. Right. Huh. Maybe we've not been this way. Got stocks. Let's all get our money's worth out of these stones, right? Dead end. Right. Dead end. Okay, we've explored that way now as well. We've explored that way. We don't need to go there anymore. Every wall is suspicious. Is this where we drop down? No. This is where we dropped. Right? Let's look this way. Ah, oh, come on, Matt. As if you didn't explore this area fully. We're at a junction, so let's go this way first. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Hey, man, don't ambush me. Yeah, but I'm going to have to go to um, Limgrave West and get some more ruin fragments, because rainbow stones. Okay, we've got a hole as well. Interesting. Let's make liberal use of the... Oh! I'm sure, uh, and the, the thing that, one of the things that stopped me from upgrading the big hammer was, um... Dude, just stop it. Just stop it. Right. Was, uh, I need some more level 6 stones before I upgrade anything that's new at all, really. I've got to run out of bloody stones here. Hello! Oh, I've not fully explored the rest of it, man. Oh well. We can go back. If I don't die, then the stones should stay there, I think. Or if I don't rest at a, uh, side race. The Alexander? What are we doing here, mate? Oh no! Why? I didn't want to do this, Jars. Came in peace. No, they were locked down here. They were probably criminal jars. <laughs> this is... Oh, my God. It was here all along. Right. Great. There's that bastard frog. 
Are we going down or? Yeah. And then, um, oh, okay, there goes all my rainbow stones then. Right. Because I can only fast travel back there, can't I? Hold on. I'll have to go and grind for some more ruin fragments and get some more stones. Alright. I'm in one of those can't get my microphone in the right place kind of moods. Uh, I upgraded another weapon as well. What was it? I think, oh yeah, I upgraded the halberd to plus eight. So I'd like to try this, just so that we're a full tree sentinel. But it only seems to work well two-handed, to be honest. Alright, what's this place called? The Forsaken Depths. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh yeah, flask. Sorry. Um. I'll keep these on the crimson, uh, crimson tears. To be honest. Summoning pool. Ominous. Okay, this looks like more catacombs, right? Please, no more labyrinths. I've got quite a lot of runes, I have to remember. Okay, we're walking straight into a boss room. Hey! Nice. What is this? This looks serious. Right, I should spend these runes then. This looks really serious. Because it's a unique looking boss room. Oh no, it could just be another Black Knife Assassin, right? But for this to have its own elevator, I mean, I've not missed like a, another entrance round here, have I? So... Shibriri told us to seek an audience with with the three fingers, right? Uh, I need quite a lot more runes. Like 40,000. So, I might not be able to level up after all unless I use pop this 50k one. Alright, fine. Fine. I'm left with a bit of change, but less than I would have been carrying around. So, given some of those weapons, I might end. There was a curved greatsword that I might want to try out that needed 16 decks. But I'm not really going to be able to use it until I, uh, I need to get more level 6 smithing stones. So, let's just stick the point into health. We'll get our main three stats up to 13, uh, 50, 30. Up to 15, I guess. Up to 50, I suppose. Vigor, um, whatever. Health, endurance, and strength. And then we can supplement a bit extra from there. What level am I? I'm like 120, 125. Yeah, yeah the, the, the speed of level ups has kind of evened out nicely. Right. Let's be prepared here. Torch needs to go. Okay, can we surmise anything in the room? So, from everything down here, there's lots of stuff to do with the omen. Shabriri's told us to go underneath Lindell to consult with the three fingers, but that might not. That might be a completely separate area. I wondered if it, if interacting with him unlocked something to do with. Um, to do with. Um, the three fingers that's not connected to this particular place because it does yeah it does feel separate to the dung eater and all that stuff
Are you, are you serious? Oh my god. I can't believe this. Are you serious? Why is Moog here? I can't, what the hell is going on? I don't think he's got as much health. If I do this first try, I'll be so happy. So he's got a different title. He's called the Omen this time. So maybe he's not going to have as many powers. Oh, look at all his benches in the way. I can't believe this. This is like I'm like I've got a recurring nightmare. He's got all these benches in the way. not got a second phase. Oh, you and your bullshit benches. Fine. He's not got a second phase. This is so much easier. so tough without Mikkel or are we? <laughs> First try, Moog. I can't believe that. <laughs> that was just, that was literally like you know what that felt like? Sorry to reference other FromSoft games, but that that felt like the the, when the first time I played through Dark Souls 2, and the pursuer showed up for the first uh, for the second time, and like I was so t I I could not deal with the pursuer at all, and uh, like the first time he showed up in like an unexpected place, and I was just like, oh he's back <laughs> after he killed me the first time. That's what that felt like. Like, oh my god, he's following me everywhere. <laughs> obviously, I think, obviously, uh, you would probably, most people would probably fight this version of Moog first. Who, that's it would be is much much simpler. So he doesn't have the the thorn attacks, the the ring thorn attacks, and he doesn't have a second phase where he sprouts wings. So obviously, he gets some of his power from Mikola's blood. Still got a lot of runes from him though, but I imagine that would have been a lot hard. That would this would have been really hard if I would have come here, you know, before fighting him the first time. But I just fell back into the oh, talk to Melina, Cathedral of the Forsaken. Interesting. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame, right? She understands. I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. 
However ruined this world has become, hmm. however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. True. There is beauty in that. Is there not? If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I shall see to the kindling. It is a purpose which I choose to fulfill. So please, leave the frenzied flame alone. I shall see to the kindling. It is a purpose, so please. <sighs> I mean, can we not even just have it and not use it, right? Because surely it will be up to us. I mean, I, the one thing I'm genuinely worried about, you know, fulfilling all these different quests for, you know, for fear and the destined dead, the dung eater and the the cursed with uh, the Empyreans and disobeying the two fingers um, and with this with the frenzy uh, the frenzied flame and the the three fingers right I'm worried that we're not that, that, that there's not going to be a choice involved here that we're actually just cultivating like a certain kind of ending. Do you know what I mean? That they're all going to have an influence rather than it just be a case of when we become Elden Lord, we get to pick one of these styles of endings, whether it's like the moon ending or the... with Rani or the death... the, the, the destined death ending with fear or this stuff with Shabriri or the stuff for the Dung Eater and the cursed, cursed ones. Or maybe... I imagine that there'll be some influence from Gideon, and there'll be some influence from uh, Goldmask. Goldmask obviously would be Restore the Golden Order, I imagine. Uh, I don't know what Gideon would be. Maybe he just wants to not be the Elden Lord himself and not us. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Yes. Let my hand rest upon you. So that's For my only worry. Moment. Share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. The health is going up pretty minimally now. I really could do with some more FP. But I, I like to keep it to certain numbers, so I'll get it to 50 and then we'll make some choices. I shall see to it is a purpose, so please. You know, yeah, Shabiri was trying to kind of guilt us. Erd Tree's Favour. We already have, have we already got one of these? Well, just because it's plus one doesn't mean we already have the original, does it? No, we don't. Raises maximum stamina, HP, and equip load. Um, yeah. But we get an extra, um... Like 7.6 equip load, 12 stamina, and 65 or whatever health. It's pretty good. I don't know what I'd, re I'd, what I'd replace though. Can't get rid of the Great Jar's arsenal. Well, well, we could potentially. No. And how much is that giving us? I mean, that's giving us. Oh, an extra like nine. That's a tricky one. Gives us some more scope for equipping heavier stuff though. That's for sure. And you know, keeping a, a big heavy shield and stuff. I'll keep it in mind, but I'll stick with the great shield one for now. Definitely something to use for certain boss fights. Okay, so she's mentioned the Frenzied Flame, but... So what, what the hell was Moog doing here? Okay, a little confused.
Smoke the omen. I don't think... Oh, yeah, we did get an item. We got uh, an incantation. Sorry, I forgot. It was uh, like claws or something. A blood oath incantation granted by the Lord of Blood. Creates blood flame lacerations before the caster. Yeah, that's like the one he did and then it blows up, yeah. Which explode in an instant. This incantation can be cast repeatedly. Uh, 15 arcane, 13 faith. After dealing damage, blood flame continues to build up. Onset of blood loss for a very short time. Pretty cool. So I get that, that that creates more combo builds, right? For like a faith arcane build. But I just don't get where I'm, where I'm supposed to go now because this isn't the frenzied church, is it? Well, well, obviously it should be because Melina spoke about it. But... Uh, I feel like I've just uh, completely missed something in there. Maybe we just need to go and speak to Shabriri again. This was called the Church of... Uh... I've forgotten. It's not the Church of Blasphemy, but... Can we climb up there? No way! Oh, I'm so... Was that supposed to just open? <laughs> I wasn't trying to open it, I was trying to climb up it. I thought that, well, I thought that there was something behind it. So I don't really want to risk... Well, we need Melina to get behind the thorns, right? So... What is that? Oh, someone afflicted by madness. Oh my god. One of them's alive, dude. That one's got glowing eyes. This is so terrifying. What is clicking? Oh, that's making my skin crawl. That little click noise. Lovely music, though. Someone's trying to throw stuff at me. Please, don't stop playing the music, man. See the one playing it? I don't think so. He'd probably uh, hate to see someone with this golden armor on in here. Wow, that music is beautiful, man. Okay, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. can drop down. Well, let's take the long way. I always prefer the long way. Right, kill these guys as soon as possible because they're going to spout madness, spew madness. They're all obviously blind, right? They've all got like a, a hand on a, uh, on a cane. How are we supposed to get to this?
How strange. And how are you supposed to get to that? Fire to the place? I don't know. Yellow embers. I could listen to this sweet violin music all day. The vampires have got a competition. <laughs> Oh, it's a dead end. We've got to keep dropping. Frenzied cookbook. Come on, dude, just keep playing. I don't want any... I don't want any... Madness. Unless he's a merchant. Let's not make any noise. Look, he's setting the he's setting the atmosphere, right? So right, we've got to make some dicey, dicey jumps here. Oh, maybe not. Our weapon's really not helping me here. Shit! Oh! That was mighty lucky. <laughs> Uh, we should probably put the silver cat ring on, or whatever it's called in this game. Wow, this is a long way down. Jesus. Obviously you need to do it in a certain way to get the item. Items, but I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, I don't think that was a good idea. No, I need to do a normal jump. Oh. Oh, God, God. I think we're near enough to the bottom now. Inescapable frenzy. Incantation originating from the maddening three fingers causes the yellow flame of frenzy to blaze from the caster's eyes. The caster then latches onto foes, spreading the madness. This incantation also causes buildup of madness in the caster and is only effective against tarnished. To gaze into one another's eyes is truly the most intimate form of human contact. Mm. I mean, yeah, there's the there's definitely a natural psychological obsession with the eyes. We looked at it in university. How, um, how the hell are you supposed to get these items? That is bizarre. No idea. 
Yeah, like you, you just naturally look at someone's eyes because eyes deter tend to determine a person's intention. So just from a survival point of view, it's uh, good practice to stare at some, look at someone in the eye. Hey man, you're supposed to be playing the violin. I really don't want you ambushing me, so... Alright. Oh! There's Hayata. She's, it's such a contrast to Melina, isn't it? Oh, and this is technically a friend, like a friendly place, a, and a frenzied place, obviously as well. Interesting. Hello, Hayata. <sighs> So you're here as well, are you? I realized as we've talked, I'll be a maiden. And you, surely a lord, go to the door ahead. After divesting yourself of your possessions, no. it will surely open. And the three fingers will welcome you. May the flame of chaos find purchase within you. Go to the door ahead. It will surely open. Okay, so we need to uh, strip strip ourselves, I imagine. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna go through. I mean, I hope it doesn't have any consequences for me with Melina. I ask you one more time, please seek not the frenzied flame. As one who strives to become a lord, deny not the lives, the new births of this world. Those who would are not fit to be called lord, when the land they preside over is lifeless. I mean, I agree with her. Please, put a stop to this madness. The Lord of Frenzied Flame is no Lord at all. Right. When the land they preside over is lifeless. Please, put a stop to this madness. The Lord of Frenzied Flame is no Lord at all. When the land they preside over is lifeless. I don't want to lose, like, Melina is... as our ally and everything, right? Because she's, you know, she's making this... making it sound like if we go through there, I think that maybe Hayata is going to replace Melina as the person who burns the thorns, perhaps. I'm not sure. Maybe the, maybe Melina will be the one who burns the flames after all. That's the problem when you have a... I mean, it's in a good way, you know, when you have a, a game that has a single save file, right? Like, I can't... screw this up, right? But generally speaking, I think everything's... The problem here is that, you know, most quests are quite segregated. And, you know, like I did the whole thing with the Dung Eater, or I'm still doing that with the Dung Eater, and... That doesn't, you know, she'd obviously she'd surely have a problem with that. Melina would probably have a problem with the destined dead and fear, right? But it's just that she's shown up here makes it seem way more serious, so... Um, I'm not going to go through the door, so... I'm going to listen to Melina. You guys will have to tell me. I know that it, I, that, that board is on spoiling my decision. I suppose. So, but if if I can just go through and this maybe just adds another option perhaps to our decision as Elden Lord then fine but if, if I don't know 
my, my decision as of like right now is I'm not going to go through because this whole stuff with Shabriri has been sus, sus from the beginning, right? Like this feels very much like a chaos ending, like burn the world, like burn everything down, like t t until there's nothing left, right? So if we if we try and look at all the endings and like their their influences, not all the endings, but all of the factions, let's say that we've got so far, um, beyond the Golden Order, because we've got like we've got the destined dead and fear, right? People who die get to. So that's kind of like creating the undead, I suppose. So the dead take the place of the living. I'm not sure. And then the uh, the dung eater stuff with the omen, the cur the omen curse, will be bringing his people to prominence, whereas they've previously been shunned, right? And everyone will be born as an omen curse one. Then we've got the kind of demigod side of it with with Rani as an Empyrean. I'm not into, Rani's one still confuses me a little bit, right? Well, um, but that still has kind of regal ties to it, right? And, and someone being more in control of stuff. More like someone who's trying to usurp the Two Fingers and the Golden Order rather than create something that's massively different. So yeah, like, that's what I mean is like, all of those kind of seem like they're trying to give rise to another group of people. Whereas this kind of feels like burn it all down, right? Chaos, frenzy. But we can come back. I can't imagine um, moving up here has mm, any many consequences for that so let's go and talk to Shabriri now that we've found the place and we've spoken to Hayata he might have some new input to say anyway still covering his eyes because well they're gone burn the earth tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. I really like the, this voice actor, I must say. I hope that doesn't influence any decisions that I make. <laughs> he he kind of sounds like... the. I don't know if you guys listen to uh, Elbow. Um, I think that the lead singer of Elbow is from Manchester as well. But he really sounds like him. I don't know if he is. I think he might be a... a from Yorkshire. Chosen, tarnished, and would be lord. Oh. Descend into the depths oh. far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. Burn the earth and incinerate. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. Really sounds like the lead singer of Elbow. He really, <laughs> really does. I love the bones of you. Yeah. Oh, hello. That looks like a, a new style of enemy. All right, um, I'm going to put a pin in that. I might ask you guys in the comments about that stuff with the Friends in Flame. I'm recording this as the Moog boss fight video has just gone up. Or just uh, or or several hours after that. Zamor. Oh man, I'm I'm so ready for the snowy area. I'm so on board for this. Edgy walk. Um. Oh, you look like. Oh wait. Who's? The... That mask is similar to... Oh, yeah, that's similar to, like, Noxtella and everything, right? Ooh. A lot of health. A 
A lot of poise. Frost magic. Oh god, I'm nearly dead. Oh, how have you got poise, man? You're a skinny little thing. I'm too used to fighting mode. Oh, I'm so slow in the face of this. I think I should just be doing um, guard counters. That's a good chance for a backstab. Oh. Yeah, guard counters, I think. Yeah, there we go. That was pretty tough. That mask, though. That mask was similar to... I don't think it was similar to... Um, I've forgotten what they're called, then. The Eternal, uh, the no uh, no the Nox, yeah, the Nox, uh, let's just check the, the helm. Because it kind of looked like a Vare, Vare's mask, but obviously it's not going to be that. No, so it's not Nox. I'm trying to think what that is. It looks a little simple, but it was metal, wasn't it? Who am I thinking of that's got a mask like that? Celavis. Yeah, he had a mask like that. Well, similar-ish to that. Yeah, Tree Guardians. I guess it was just probably something completely new, right? May chaos take the world! I'm so ready for the snowy area. It's like midsummer, so... <laughs> It's making me feel nice and cool. Even though my graphics card would disagree at this moment in time. I like taking it slow in a snowy area. Oh god, there's several of them. I feel a bit weak in the face of these things. But um, I'm going to have to stick to the guard counters. Because they're very fast and we're very slow. They're so sick, though. I'm digging it. Obviously, if we were to get our hands on that weapon, it will be a lot smaller. She brought her back up. We tend to always do spinning combos. Now. Oh, my God. One, two, counter. Oh. Really want to listen to Elbow now. Come on, don't lead me into an ambush. Should have gone for the backstab, but I'm gonna turtle. I've gotta be sharper on these counters, dude. Can't lead the dance, I'm too slow. And I can't break their poise. Not even slightly. Um, 5,000 runes apiece. Man, I love a snowy vista like this. It's just uh, something about it, isn't there? There's some vampires up on the on the ridge. Oh no 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 no! 
Birds. Good. Sick of those vampires. Unless they want to sing and do nothing else. <laughs> you know, I, I imagine that there's going to be something... You know, like a stone sword key room here in these ruins. I'd be stick out like a sore thumb in all this gold, right? Yennefer would be ashamed of us. Gold clashes with my complexion, Geralt. Oh, she was talking to the squirrel. I feel so stupid. I feel so bad. Oh, these guys are awesome. Okay, we can get underneath that. But I thought a third attack was incoming then. Ow! Got frost pushed. Okay, four counters to break the guard. I'll break the posture even. Well, like, growing up, my favourite X-Men member was always Bobby Drake, Iceman, until the version of him that was in the films came out, who was absolute rubbish compared to the comic book version. I'm not sneaking. I'm not a coward. Okay, we've got to get a bit lucky with the... Combos. Are you going to do a frost attack now? No. Nope. She's like daring me to go first. See what happens when I go first. There's at least one more. Okay, we got three flasks anyway. Uh. Man, if you just walked into here at the wrong moment. Over here, frosty lady. How dare you? The other one's gonna come around the corner, dude. That's why she's lagging behind. She's like, <laughs> come to me. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a backstab! Maybe you can't backstab them. Maybe Virtue ever waste that narrow. It means you can't be backstabbed. No weapons off them though. I was hoping to get some lore on them. Oh, sneaky. Nope. You come over here. I will not be fighting. You can't dodge that. You have you're gonna take a hit, it's inevitable. Like Agent Smith. Oh beautiful. Working in all the Matrix quotes. Inevitable. Let's see if we can get the backstab. It's going to be hard because they do spinning attacks. But... And they've got like broken handcuffs on, I think. Or maybe they used to be prisoners.
Let's not get surprised here. And this is going to be one hell of a view if... Well, maybe not. <laughs> See. Oh, what's that over there? Is it just a bush? I think it's just a bush. I thought it was like a, a sleeping beast. I can't interrupt their attacks. Uh oh. That was lucky, that was really lucky. No items. There's the grand lift. Well, we've come very far, haven't we? But in the end, <laughs> I'm sorry, ruin the moment. Yeah, I guess it's the. Worst decision to come right through the middle here. Let's see what we've got. This torch goes perfectly in the snowy setting. Transport a trap. Make my day. Oh, you can't be serious, dude. Oh my god, that is huge. That is master huge. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. I can't believe it. Oh, that is sick. I know I've got quite a lot of level fives, but... You know, I couldn't upgrade the, the, the giant crusher. So we can pretty much get to plus 20. Wait for one more weapon, basically. One more normal smithing stone weapon. And I can get to plus 8 on one more... Special? Excuse me. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm surprised it was down here. That's just completely taking me off guard because, you know, we're not in a mine. Or a tunnel or anything. So, picked up quite a lot of runes from those... Those people. Might not have been female, I don't know. Kind of reminded me of the, the dancer. Of the Boreal Valley. Uh, there might be more of them, so... Because I've not been down here, have I, so... Going in a, I guess we have to make our way up here. Um, not got long left to do that though. Well, appreciate this, Snowhawk. Oh, it's two of the bastards. Got good range to counter them. Just normal uh, bird loot. Let's top our health up. Go 
guide and gatekeeper, indeed. It's off in this direction. Maybe find the entrance and then finish the video. Probably more birds knocking around, but... Yeah, I can already see the wings. Just pointing in that direction, I think. Oh yeah, the snow, the snow, oh yes. Beautiful. It's torrent leaving tracks. It's uh, faint ones. Smoldering butterfly. Okay, great. I think this is going to be like catacombs or something. Oh, fire monks. Interesting. Yeah, because I, I expected to find them at Mount Gelmir and I never did, did I? Or did we, or did anyone? We haven't found... Ah! Oh. I'm getting the plan. It is pointing in this direction, isn't it? So I guess it's maybe the fire monk hideout. Let's be careful because this is going to be one hell of an ambush here. Oh, it's beautiful. That's the, 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 the skinny ridge. Oh, so good. Look at that. Look at that. We could have walked across there, man. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. That's such a spectacle. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, we did fight one of these guys actually. Oh, he's doing the. Is he gonna let me pass if I do the chest beating thing? Oh, that is amazing. We did run into some fire monks. Uh, actually, I'm talking nonsense. Maybe their hideout isn't around here somewhere. This person's covered in thorns, interestingly. Oh, they're all covered in thorns. We don't need to accidentally kill ourselves going for that. Big fella's still beating his chest. Oh. Yeah, the contrast of the flame with the snow is just just amazing, right? Oh no. He's got a whip. And we want the big guy, we don't want these ladies. Oh, he's not even seen me. Sweet, I can take these guys out. Big man. So that's going to do bleed, heavy bleed, I think. Yeah. Oh, ball head. Oh, 
he's got range on me. I'm gonna have to go first. To keep my health up in case this bleed drops. Oh, that was lucky. I'm nearly dead. No, Matt. Don't mess it up. He did a triple. That was sick. He was pretty tough. Now this is this is one of the best visuals in the entire game. It's just mad. like a great wall. Briars of Punishment. Where's this cave though? Yeah, it's down here. I mean, look at that view. Ah, it's special. <laughs> right, um, I'll finish the video after we get to the site of grace. Let's just read this Briars of Punishment thing. Oh yeah, some of these are sorceries, aren't they? Briars of Sin. I think we just picked this one up. An aberrant... An ab aberrant... Uh, an abhorrent... <laughs> An aberrant sorcery, sorry, discovered by exiled criminals. Theirs are the sorceries most reviled by the Academy. Who is the caster with thorns of sin, sending a trail of blood thorns running over the ground to impale enemies from below. This sorcery can be cast repeatedly. The guilty, their eyes gouged by thorns, lived in eternal darkness. There they discovered the blood star. I wonder if we're going to get an ending related to this blood stuff. Because we didn't get anything from Moog, did we? But we have the, the, the connection with Mikola to... Melania and the Scarlet Rot and the Blood stuff. So maybe that'll be a connection for that. Could be a potential avenue. Giants Mountain Top catacombs. The problem is here is that there might be a site of grace right on the other side of that bridge. Oh no, there's just a guy. Oh, there's an archer. Why would you ruin that? <laughs> I'm not running across there right now then. Stupid imps. Beast eye quivers. Nice. We've not seen Garank for a little while. 63,000 runes, but we need another 60 to level up, so. Alright, guys, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, beautiful views up here, man. We found the uh, where the three fingers are located, but I've not gone in just yet. I'm going to hold off on that. I'll maybe ask for some advice, as long as it's kind of spoiler free. But that, uh, at the minute, my decision is I'm not, I don't want to, like, upset Melina and all that because it just seems you know uh, if it is, she hasn't stood against us seeking out the other kind of things that are to do with being a different kind of Elden Lord you know like with Fia and Rani and the Dungi uh, she hasn't spoken up about those things so I'm just going to take it seriously and, and, and avoid it for the time being right I'll leave it there just remember everyone never trust an uncreate I'll see you next time